It is two months, 22 days and four hours until the ICC 2019 Cricket World Cup in England. Mm. He's excited. No. I'm excited about the Cricket World Cup happening in England this year. Now, many people are quite apprehensive about Cricket World Cups here in South Africa because mostly that brings a whole bunch of disappointments or at the very least some uncontrollable anxiety when it comes to knockout matches. But as the tournament goes though, it's really cool. I think the format's spot on and like any other world event, the cricket one is a big one. Remember, cricket's the second biggest sport in the entire world. So there's a lot of stake here. But to get you more into the mood and get you more excited about this, let's have a look at what the Proteus World Cup squad could look like. There are many great cricketers in South Africa right now. Of course, many great cricketers in the limited overs format. But who do you pick for the World Cup? Well, there's lots of question marks around this team and who to pick where, of course, as well, and against whom, which is always a big thing in World Cups. So let's have a look at the squad and let's just see who we can put into the important 15 positions. We're going to start off with the dead certs, the guys who you're basically building the team around. So that's obviously Faf Duplessy, Lungi Ngidi, Kaki Sarabada, Imran Tahir and Quinton de Kock. These guys have proven over and over again that they are always dead certs in the team. And well, we like a few more in this category, but this is kind of what we're working with at the moment. Next up, we are going to add some experience to the mix. So these are the guys you really want in the stressful situations of a big tournament. So that means Dale Stain, JP Dumini, Hashim Amla. Many will argue these are sentimental picks, but you got to think again. These guys go into the mix very nicely and they do add a whole bunch of composure to a team where composure is really, really needed. Next up, we've got the best of the rest. So here are guys who have performed quite well in the last few seasons or come onto the scene pretty well. David Miller, Andila Pekloquayo, Tabria Shamsi, and Rusty van der Dissen. All guys who I think have deserved their spot in the mix here. Then we got the final three picks. These are slightly more difficult to go with, but on class, you've got to pick Aiden Markram. I think he definitely deserves a spot, as does Reza Hendricks. He's really explosive at the top of the order. And the final pick, I'm going to go with Chris Morris. Chris Morris has shown at the time in the England series how explosive he was, and of course, great variety with the ball as well. So let's look at how this goes into a match day 11. These are the sort of 10 guys I think fit straight into it. But who's going to be the 11th? Do you go specialist batsman, specialist bowler, or an all-rounder? Again, I'm going to go with Morris here. I just do like him in this whole mix. Of course, he's a pretty handy fielder. So that's what it is. Batsman on the left, bowlers on the right. That is your Proteus 11 for the World Cup in my mind, with the four replacements on the side. Because it's a long tournament. It's a very long tournament. The great thing about this tournament this time around 2019 is they've gone back to the 1992 format, where all the 10 teams play each other in a round-robin stage. Which starts with there, we've got England, we've got Bangladesh, we've got India, we've got West Indies, Afghanistan, New Zealand, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Australia. Those are South Africa's matches in the pool stage, which then takes it into a semi and a final. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the pro tiers get into the semis. Big wide open tournament with this. But I will be surprised if, however, they go through to the final. If they do so, however, how amazing would it be if Imran Tahir in his last international match gets the winning wicket? Wow, what a celebration that will be. It's a pretty good team. Will they crash and burn like previous tournaments? Yeah, maybe. But that's not what it's about. Sport is entertainment and this Cricket World Cup is going to be very, very entertaining. 30th of May, SA versus, uh, versus England. That's the first match. So be sure to catch all the action from there. And if you agree or disagree with the squad I've chosen, well, let me know in the comments below. Catch you back next episode of the Sport is Series next Monday.